guilty on all three counts. The jury convicting Congressman Jeff Fortenberry moments ago. The decision against the Nebraska Republican follows just two hours of deliberations. The jury finds Fortenberry guilty of scheming to falsify and conceal material facts. Two counts of making false statements to federal investigators. The three felony charges each carry a maximum penalty of five years in a federal prison. KETV Newswatch 7's David Earl has followed this trial from day one. He is live in Los Angeles with the verdict. David. Yeah, Rob and Julie, we're still waiting for the parties to come out of the federal courthouse here. But again, as you mentioned, guilty on all three counts for Congressman Fortenberry, the, the verdict unanimous from this California jury. Uh, let's uh, show you a little bit about uh, what, what they weighed as they made this decision today in closing arguments. For two weeks, the jury heard evidence inside a federal courtroom here in downtown Los Angeles. Attorneys for the government and for Jeff Fortenberry sought to lay all that evidence out, proving either guilt or innocence. He's innocent, not just not guilty, he's innocent. That's the estimation of defense attorney John Luttrell. All Fortenberry's defense needs is reasonable doubt. Luttrell likened the prosecution to painting the bullseye around the target. He said they planted information, hoarded information, ambushed the congressman, conducted a flawed memory test, and presented selected clips of statements in court. Luttrell again saying it's reasonable to think Fortenberry's memory failed when asked about a 2018 phone call all twice, nine months and 13 months after it happened. Quote, they're asking you to believe that memory works like a tape recorder. It's just not true. The defense, of course, referencing that June 2018 phone call from the L.A. fundraiser host to Fortenberry, telling him foreign money ended up in his campaign. Prosecutors say the defendant did not ask for clarification or for the host to repeat anything. They say he understood the call. They say he texted to Fik Baklini, the source of the money, that same day, asking for a meeting. They say he lied to federal agents when they asked in two interviews about the foreign money, never returning it until after that second interview. In the end, prosecutors say it's a case about choices, and Fortenberry made the wrong ones. Quote, the defendant could have done the right thing, but he didn't. Instead, he made a calculated decision because he didn't think he would get caught. He didn't think he would get caught on tape. The jury is... All right, we're back out here live outside the federal courthouse. We're hearing Congressman Fortenberry's coming down right now. I'm going to step out of the way and show you inside the building right now. Again, guilty on all three counts for the congressman here from this California jury. As that jury verdict came in, obviously very emotional for the Fortenberry family. Um, his daughter and wife in court hearing that, they broke down uh, in tears. And after the jury left the room, the congressman went over and gave them a hug. Uh, to reassure them that uh, everything would be okay. And so again, we're waiting for Congressman Fortenberry to come out of the federal courthouse now. That deliberation the jury had about two hours uh, inside the jury room, and we did hear from the federal judge that sentencing will happen on June 28th at 8 o'clock. We're going to talk with some personnel here and get reset uh, as we're expecting the congressman to come out. So as we do that, we're going to send it back to you, and, uh, and we'll keep you updated. Rob, Julie. All right, thanks, David. Well, as we look at video from earlier this week, we want to review the background on this case. Last October, a federal grand jury in the Central District of California returned the three-count indictment against Fortenberry. Now, federal prosecutors allege that the congressman repeatedly lied to FBI investigators looking into illegal foreign campaign contributions to U.S. politicians. Central to Fortenberry's case, a $30,000 donation. Let's go back to David, live in L.A. Again, Rob, Julie, uh, Congressman Fortenberry is coming out after uh, hearing he's guilty on all three counts uh, live here on Newswatch 7 at 9. Uh, thank you all for waiting. Sorry we made you wait. We just need a little time with the family. Um, and thank you all for coming out here. This is important to Nebraska. Uh, and I'm sorry to pull my phone out, but I want to read something to you that I just received. So I have five daughters, and that's, of course, you all know Celeste by now. Caroline, our youngest, is here with us, and this is Claire and her fiancé, Skyler. And Christine, who's in another state far away going to college, she said, I love you, Daddy, no matter what anyone accuses you of. And just remember, so many other people do, too. And you'll hear my phone continuing to go off all through this. I'm getting so many beautiful messages from people 
literally all around the world who've been praying for us and pulling for us. Um, I want to thank my beautiful wife, Celeste, for extraordinary, extraordinary gift of loving me and our marriage. And she went up there today with such courage and dignity. I, I couldn't have been prouder. She's, she's my heroine. Um, we always felt like it was going to be hard to have a fair process here. So this appeal starts immediately. Okay. Congressman, do you regret coming out here and taking the money? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Do, do you wish you had not come out here to do the fundraiser? I mean, you, you heard six days of testimony. It's all out in the open. And so um, we made our case. And again, we always had concerns about the fairness of process. How about the campaign? We're going to spend some time as a family, and um, that's what we're doing right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you say what your uh, we just, we just you appeal will be based on? Thank you. The case? The case? <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay. you feel like you didn't get a fair trial. We were always very concerned about multiple level issues of, of fairness. Right. Yeah. Is, is the campaign continuing? You're evaluating it while it continues? Could you give us a little yeah, space? We just have some, some space time. right now. Thank you. Thank you, though. Thank you. Congressman Fortenberry there reacting after three counts of guilty here from a California jury. Rob, Julie, back to you. David, thanks. And as you heard, uh, Congressman Fortenberry saying that the appeals process will start immediately. Well, Fortenberry's chief rival in the Nebraska Republican primary is Norfolk State Senator Mike Flood. In January, Governor Pete Ricketts and former Governor Dave Heineman endorsed Flood over Fortenberry because of Fortenberry's legal status. We've reached out to Flood. He has declined to comment on Fortenberry's conviction tonight.